So I've done many real fire artworks and plenty of instructional videos here on this channel. But in this video, I wanna see if I can do a really basic real fire effect that will help out beginners. Let's get into it right now. So what I'm using for this artwork is a A3 canvas. I'm gonna airbrush this black. You're gonna need some templates in order to do the fire effect. This is my fire tool template set from Airshot Stencils. And these are the colors that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using some transparent base. This is to make my existing colors more transparent. If you're already using transparent colors, then you don't need to worry about this. Black, this will be for the base color for the canvas. I also use this as an eraser. So this essentially will eliminate any mistakes that I make. White, red, yellow. You can also use a pre-mixed orange if you wish, but I just like making my own with the red and the yellow. You're also going to need some mixing bottles as well as some reducer. And the airbrushes that I'm going to be using are the HP TRN1, the Awada Neo. I'll use this to base up my canvas, the Awada HPCS Eclipse, and the PS289 GSI Krios. And you'll find links to all these products in the description below. Okay, so I'm starting with red and I haven't thinned this out much at all. I'm gonna run some fire diagonally across the canvas. So kind of using that red, imagine how that fire would swoop across the canvas. This is very rough. You don't have to be accurate with this. Just building a base. No stencil at this point, all freehand. And don't be too concerned if it doesn't look very good. It will take on that appearance. But as I add the layers, it should start to look more like fire. Just working over the top of a couple of little areas just to brighten them up. So usually for the next step, I would mix up a white with a yellow to make a yellowy white highlight tone. For this video, I'm gonna go with just white, just so that I can keep it a little bit more basic. And I'm gonna use this white to build up my layers. So now I do need my templates. And now still imagining the fire across the canvas, I'm going to use the template to create a bit of a sharp highlight. and continue that through. So sketching freehand as well as using the template to create my fire shapes. You can see I'm just hitting the edge and then blending it out and essentially just letting that flame form by itself. This does take a bit of practice. So to get the flow is probably the hardest thing to master. It just takes time. And once you've done it over and over, you will start to get the feel for it. You need to have a good balance of using the template, but not too much template use. So it's a nice mix of freehand as well as template airbrushing.
and then I just dust back over these areas here where the fire would be a lot hotter so just build them up remember using water base it's a little bit different to using candies you're not going to get as vibrant with it but you can definitely still create a nice effective flame So to mix up transparent orange and any transparent colors for that matter, the only difference with this one is that I'm gonna mix the yellow with the red to create my orange. But let's say that you've already got an orange that you wanna use, then all you need to do is add that in to the approximate ratio of this paint once it's mixed together to create my orange. Therefore, before I put the transparent base in, normally I would just put the lid on and shake it. But in this case, I'm going to just mix it up like this so that way you can still see how much transparent base I'm putting in and you can always tweak your color afterwards as well so if this isn't a perfect orange and you're not happy with it then once you've added your transparent base in just add a bit more yellow or red according to what you want it to look like and now add in your transparent base so you want a fair amount in there now give it a really good shake you can see that's mixed up nicely. However, I would actually be putting more yellow in to get it a bit more to the orange tone. That's a bit better. And once you're happy with your color, then you can add in some reducer and thin it out to your liking. So using that transparent orange now, I'm gonna spray over what I've done. So I probably would have liked it to be a bit more orange, but I'm gonna continue on with the tutorial as I do want this to be a simplified fire version. So it'll be less layers than what I would normally do and hopefully it will be just as effective. So again, with the white, I'm going to start a new layer now. So still working within the fire foundation that we have, but I'm not following the same flame licks. So just trying to create some depth. Again, a little bit hotter down in this section, so more white so that the yellow that I'm gonna spray next sits brighter on top of it. Now using my already pre-mixed transparent yellow. So same mixing process as earlier. Gonna once again coat it.
and this time coming in with the white but very very carefully I don't want to establish a new layer this time I just want to highlight what's already there Don't know if you noticed, but I got a bit of a mark from the white paint from the back of the stencil. So I'm just going back in with my black. And this is what I meant when I said this is a good eraser. You can see how quickly that just gets rid of that. No problem. And it's gone. Also eliminate any other flame licks or embers as you wish. So even down here, I can come in and just clean this up a little bit. Okay, so you could definitely leave it like that, but I'm gonna add in a bit more transparent orange. And what I'm gonna do is just lightly dust around some of those highlights that I've just added. And also these areas here where it blends back from the yellow into the orange. I'm just gonna deepen some of those with the orange as well. Kind of like in these little pockets where that overspray tapers off, bring the orange back over the top of it. Again, you don't need to do this. You can stop at any point. It's also a good idea to step away from the design that you're working on and squint your eyes and have a look at how it's going. So to fast track your learning, you can definitely check out our online airbrushing course at airbrushasylum.thinkific.com or you can continue to watch some of the other videos that I've got listed here. And until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.